In this video, I'm going to explain how to import an existing level. Um, and this actually comes from a user comment in my last video for audio behaviors. Somebody had commented asking me whether or not I had done the, the level uh, myself. And I responded back uh, jokingly saying, no, I, I, I kind of cheated. And I want to explain what I meant by that. It's not really cheating exactly, but um, you can import an existing level. So if the, the level exists within the software, then you can import it and then use it. Um, so let me show you what I mean. Here in the edit menu of the storyboard, we see that there's an option for uh, add existing level. So this could be used to take a level from one project and bring it into another. Or in my case, I wanted to use an existing level that comes with the software. So that could be a demo game. Uh, for instance, you see uh, some of the, um, the, you know, the demo games in here like Easter Gift and uh, Foggy Forest and Jungle Fever and so on. And you could edit those from the demo itself or you could bring it in separately as kind of like a duplicate copy and pick it apart and see how it works and kind of analyze the way some of the behaviors in the the uh, video or, or the de demo levels made. Uh, you can also do that with DLC. So you can see I've got a number of DLCs. I've got the Aztec DLC and i've got um the the victorian streets that's where i got that um, i also have the off-world station um, and this is actually kind of a personal anecdote i was having a little trouble understanding how the ceiling piece is connected and so i reached out to monkey frog who's the creator of the the uh, dlc and he suggested that i simply import this level uh, into uh, Max and just take a look at it closely in myself and see how it works. So here you can see I've imported the off-world station level. I'm just going to open that up. And here, the, the same level that's used to demonstrate the software in the video uh, for the DLC, it, you know, when you buy the DLC, you have access to that level and it's perfectly okay to use these. I fully intend to use this level as well. It saves me a lot of time and a lot of effort and it's, you know, it gets me to what I want to do, which is demonstrate the behaviors, not demonstrate, you know, my skill and level uh, development, which honestly is uh, somewhat lacking at this stage of my, my uh, journey. So um, that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to make sure it was clear that, you know, anybody can do this and you can use the, the pieces um, that exist here. So let's suppose that I wanted to take this and just, you know, maybe chop off part of it and, and use it as a starting point for a larger level or, you know, change it around a little bit. Or like for me, I just wanted to learn, you know, how these pieces connect and which piece to use where, right? Um, that's perfectly okay. You know, it's, it's why it's there. Um, so be sure to, to take advantage of that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new, um, or if you just want to be a nice person, click the like button for me. I really do appreciate that every time. Um, if you're new here or if you haven't yet subscribed and you want to see more videos like this, I fully intend to create a video uh, that includes every behavior in Max and tips and tricks like this when, uh, when I can. Uh, so do uh, be sure to click the subscribe button. And uh, if you want a notification for when new videos come out, I always say I don't keep a regular schedule. So if, uh, if you want that notification, the bell icon is your friend. Just go click on that and that'll let you know when new content comes out. Um, that's it for me for tonight. Just a really quick video to let you know this tips and tricks. And uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.